from Rebecca and today I'm back for another ink swatching. Once again I have written out the names and manufacturers of all the inks in advance so that you don't have to watch me repeatedly wash my nib and feed or wait for me while I wash my nib and feed. And I'm using again my James Finnis Serendipity dip pen which has a proper fountain pen feed on it so it holds more ink than just a regular dip pen and I'll be using the back end of it to dip and make swatch samples. The first ink is by Yoseka Stationery and Yoseka Stationery is where I got all these inks and it is from their custom line of ceramics inks or inks inspired by ceramics. It is called Tang Misi Blue. You will notice it is much more of a green than a blue. Um, they explained kind of the why of that in the video that Yuseka Stationery put out. I'm working on two papers again today. Right now I am swatching on Tomoe River paper. And now I'm on Cosmo Air Light paper. Let's see if I can add just a little droplet to get some, there we go. Some thicker areas to see what the color does for shading. It's a glorious, slightly blue tinted green. Uh, Tang Mi Si Blue. Tang Mi Si Blue. I don't know. It's pretty. That's all I know. It's my only ink in the ceramics line. So I'll call it my ceramics green. Next up is by Lennon Toolbar. Their boxes don't come with cat fur on them, but they get it in my house. Their boxes don't say Lennon Toolbar on them anywhere that I can see, but this is from Lennon Toolbar. I'm going to need to use my, my cheat opener. And Lennon Toolbar made some limited inks this year. This is summer 2022 limited, 30 milliliter bottle, and this is called Ant Chair. I was feeling very green when I was buying or choosing these inks. So, Tomoe River Paper, Cosmo Air Light Paper. Put a little extra on the Cosmo Air Light. There we go. Wipe that off. And back in the box with you. So this is more of an earthy green. Ant chair. Next up, by Sailor Ink Studio, we have number 280. 280 is one of their chromo shifting or chromo shading inks. You should be able to see that slightly in the lettering. Um, there's a warm, slightly greenish brown, and there's, I think, some pinkiness going on. So let's see how this looks on the two papers. Tomway River paper. Cosmo Air Light paper. You can see in the cap, it's a greenish brown. Sorry for bumping the camera there. And back in the box with you. Next up, I have four inks by Sailor. They're all from the Yurameku line. Yurameku. Yurameku. Let's try and see that properly. Yurameku. And I, the line has, I think, nine inks in it. I chose four to try it out. 
but this is a line of inks that do the chromo shading, shifting, ch color changing thing. And I may end up buying the other five inks and swatching them out too. We'll see how these first four perform. If they just look gray in a pen, then I won't buy the other five inks. They're 20 milliliter bottles and they're expensive. They're $20 US, so a dollar per milliliter. But these are inks with interesting properties, or should be. So let's see what their properties are like. This first one is Amamoyoi, or Amamoyoi. So you'll notice I'm making sure that there's more saturated areas on the page as well as lightly saturated areas so that we get some of those color shifting properties in the ink swatches. Next up is Seki, which I miswrote as Seku and then tried to sponge away. The darker color was absorbed by my wet paper towel by my paper towel, but the it left an underlying very bright pink. So Seki. And I know this is a kind of a grayish pink. Looking very gray. But you definitely see that light pink. Hmm, interesting. Sailor has been doing some really interesting thing with inks. Things with things with inks. I wish I could speak properly. But sadly, those days are behind me. Huh. Ink Studio 280 is really drying interestingly. The warm brown plus some green and some pink. It's separated out really nicely on the Tomoe River paper. So next up is another Yeramiku ink. This is Kitsune Biore. Biore. My pronunciation is horrible. I apologize to anyone of Japanese descent and actually anyone who speaks in something other than a flat Western accent, I'm sorry. I have, I am a Western Canadian through and through. I have that flat accent. This is Kitsune Biori. This looks more of a brown with pink, as opposed to a gray-green with pink. Seki is really separated out. We've got, instead of the gray it originally laid down as, we've got pink and we've got green and they're quite separated. So this might be one that in a fine nib looks gray, but in a broader or medium nib separates out. It might have good halo. It does have quite good halo in the printing here. Um, and that was with a fine Goulet nib. So the last one is Yeramaku Bayakuya. Bayakuya. This one looks to have more purple in it. Or at least I hope it does. The swatch shows more of that pink, but also a little bit of blue. So on the Tomoe River paper, going down gray. On the Cosmo Air Light, going down gray. Let's see what happens. That. Pop that 
side. Okay, wow. These are drying really interestingly. Yeah, Ink Studio 280 definitely has some deep green around the edges. Uh, Amamoyoi is separated out. Seki has separated out. Kutsuni Biore has not separated out. It's staying a soft pinkish brown. And Bayakuya has separated out into pink and green, just like Seki, except not as intense. So Seki, intense pink and green. Bayakuya, softer pink and green. Same thing on the Cosmo Air Light paper. The uh, 280 is much more obvious on the Tomoe River paper, the separation there. Amamoyoi is about the same. Let me bring these papers closer to the camera. It's going to bounce for a moment. Can you see? And chair, 280, Amamoyoi, Seki, Kitsune Biore, and Bayakuya on, that was Cosmo Air Light. Here they are, still drying on, let's see if I can improve the lighting a little. Yeah, there we go. On Tomoy River. Yeah, that's really interest interesting. Kitsune Biori is the most boring of the four fancy inks. The Yaramaku inks. We'll see what it looks like when it's dry. Okay, thank you very much. I'm back. The ink is dry. I had to take my drying gun to it because I am impatient and did not want to just wander off and leave it where the cat could come and sit on it and make it all furry. Uh, let's see. Cosmo Air Light paper. Some black sheening on the linen toolbar and chair. Some dark on the Amamoyoi, and a little more going on in Kitsune Biori than there was earlier. So it's it looks pretty impressive on Cosmo Air Light, but wait till you see it on Tomoe River. Again, this is why ink people love this paper. There's so much more going on. Sailor 280. Impressive. Amamoyoi has really separated out. Seki has separated out. Katsuni Biore has some dark areas going on, and Bayakuya has separated out. These are stunning inks. I cannot wait to see how they look in a broad stub nib. That is the, that is going to be a nib. Well, they'll all be going in medium stubs or broad stubs or broad architects because these inks need to be seen. They need to be shaded. They need to be haloed. They need wet nibs. They're really interesting. Thanks for watching another swatching video with me, uh, watching me play with ink. I don't know how long this video is going to be because it'll be edited together, two pieces, but I appreciate uh, your patience and your viewership. Thank you very much. Goodbye.